Hello, Bob Shuffler from Pricom Design. Uh, welcome to Bob's Bench. We're going to be discussing uh, a new product that we have, uh, this Dream Amplifier. Um, Dream Amplifier is really useful for driving speakers. Um, if you're going to embed speakers inside of a project and need an amplifier and you don't want to use computer speakers. Um, computer speakers are good and they're amplified, however, it isn't always the case that you have power like AC power for actually providing the input voltage to these kind of computer speakers. Um, think about an outdoor application where you might have uh, waterproof speakers that you need to attach to something and you want to have it solar powered um, or powered from a battery that's then charged by solar. Um, this amplifier is driven by DC voltage or AC voltage and can be battery powered. Probably not with 9 volt batteries or AA batteries but something a little bit more like a gel cell. Um, probably won't be using these kind of bookshelf speakers um, in, in your kind of projects, but we wanted to demonstrate the output capability of the Dream Amp. So I've got a couple of uh, actually large uh, six inch woofers, um, two way speakers um, to play with, just to give a little test and give a little workout. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the Dream Amp. So this is our Dream Amplifier. The Dream Amplifier takes uh, 12 volts input DC or AC. Um, it can be up to 20 volts DC um, and a little bit later we'll see why you would want to go more than 12 volts. Um, as we saw before we've got a, a very large bookshelf speakers attached to this uh, amplifier right now. Um, but the amplifier takes uh, power in here. We've got a terminal strip for the left speaker output here and then a terminal strip for the right speaker output here. A volume control for adjusting our volume and then our audio input which is a line level input um, in this case coming from a dream player uh, mk2 so we're just going to be playing back music here or actually playing back sound effects here into the amplifier um, I want to point out that right now we're powering it off at 12 volts uh, with a very small uh, 12 volts at 1 amp uh, wall power supply um, this is adequate for driving most small speakers, um, but you'll see with the 8-inch woofers in these bookshelf speakers, we're going to distort this, uh, distort the amp with, because we're underpowering it with only this 12 volts. Um, the key to the Dream Amp is actually these very small square things you can see. Um, these are Class D amplifier chips. They're very, very efficient power-wise, which means you'll get the 10 watts per channel that we're uh, providing here off of a very, very small power source. So I'll go ahead and plug in my power supply. See that we've got a green LED to indicate that power has been applied. Um, I'll go ahead and start my Dream Player over here, which will be playing a little bit of background uh, country crickets and stuff. Volume controls all the way down right now. I'll turn the volume up. And we hear our crickets and little dog barking and stuff can turn this up, um, can actually go pretty darn loud, um, being that it is 10 watts. Um, plenty sufficient for most uh, applications. Um, certainly not good enough for uh, doing a rock concert, um, but for adding sound to a diorama, or adding background sounds um, in a museum, or that kind of application um, works very, very well. Um, also because of it's very, very power efficient, um, this can be used in battery power applications. And since it will run off a of 12 volts DC, um, a Dream Player light powered off a of 12 volts DC and a Dream Amp powered off a of 12 volts DC um, can actually be run off of a small battery um, with a solar charger, and we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but we can turn this up pretty loud. Difficult to tell because obviously this is a very quiet track. Um, so we'll kind of switch to something maybe a little bit more exotic. I'll fade this Dream Player out. We'll unplug the MK2 and plug in the light. Now this is going to have uh, pop music on it. And um, may not pick up on the camera very well, but I can really make this loud. So we'll see what it sounds like. Might be hard to tell on the camera, but um, 
we are getting a little bit of crunching, um, especially in the base, and that's literally from the amplifier being underpowered. Um, not because the chips aren't powerful enough, but because it doesn't have enough power to source. We did, have, we did add very large um, holding capacitors here um, to help compensate for this, but when you're driving eight inch bookshelf, bookshelf speakers, uh, 12 volts just isn't enough power. Especially if you start cranking a lot of bass. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a quick change here. We're gonna take the 12 volt power supply off and I'm gonna wire it up to the uh, little other power supply I've got going here. And um, with this, we'll be able to give it 20 volts, which is probably a little more, more closer to what it needs to have for this kind of uh, pop music. So now we've got our quick connect terminal strips on there. Go with our 12, 20 volts. So now we're running at 20 volts. It's drawing approximately 90 milliamps um, right now. And probably the uh, camcorder is going to distort the high end, but there's an awful lot of bass now just from that additional voltage that we're giving it. So quite a versatile piece of a uh, piece of amplifier. Um, very low cost for what it does. Um, fully powered off a single uh, DC power supply or AC power supply, terminal strips for speaker outputs, and uh, line level audio input. Um, measures two inches by two and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Right, sorry. Two inches by three and a half inches. I thought that, that doesn't really look square. So two inches high by three and a half inches wide. Convenient, convenient mounting holes in the corners for mounting it to uh, wood or plastic and um, and uh, that's pretty much the uh, dream amplifier. So that covers an application uh, of the dream amp. Um, we think the dream amp has a lot of applications um, not only in the hobby industry but um, other industries as well. Um, it's very power efficient because of its class D output stage, very flexible input powering capability um, be it AC or DC powered with a wall transformer or battery, um, solar charged batteries. Um, and can take any line level input. It could be a CD player, it could be any other kind of mixer. Um, could be actually our passive mixer or our active mixer um, or one of our, any one of our dream players um, from our dream player line. So that pretty much covers the dream amp. Um, be sure to visit our website at pricom.com and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep looking for new products from Prycom Design. Thank you.